One of Chester's most devoted couples are Wallace and Annie, the zoo's only breeding pair of Asian short-clawed otters. Annie and Wallace have been together for a couple of years now, and it is sweet because they pair for life and they seem to really get on with each other. They're a cute couple. Wallace and Annie share common interests. Their passion for fish and their love of juggling stones, which are great for playing practical jokes on their neighbours, like banging on their front door. They're not the best of friends with the Babarusa. And of course, there's blocking up their water drinkers too. It's an ongoing thing. They can be a bit trying at times. Asian short-clawed otters are vulnerable in the wild, but Wallace and Annie have been doing their bit to save the species. Annie and Wallace live in a massive family group. It's the biggest group we've had. They've had three litters and now have eight children all living together in one chaotic household. With so many kids to supervise, Annie relies on Wallace's support. With short clawed otters. The dad plays a vital role in raising the pups. His job is to protect her. He also gives up his food first, so he'll make sure his family are fed first, and then he'll feed last. Super Dad Wallace even keeps the kids entertained so Annie can occasionally put her paws up. Often you'll see Annie out on the water stuff in her face and he's playing with the pups. But this afternoon, as the kids play in the pool, Wallace isn't joining in. Come on! That's him. Straight away, he's the slower one. And he's shivering. When I first saw him, I instantly thought it looked stomach related because he wasn't eating and he was all like lethargic and sleepy on the paddock. I can't stress enough how greedy otters are. They eat 20% of their body weight in food every day. So the fact that he's not eating is, is a massive concern. Obviously a big concern if any of our animals get sick. But Wallace is our breeding male. He's a vital part of that family. So yeah, it, it is a, a big worry. It's a new day at Chester. And male otter Wallace has recovered enough from his anaesthetic to return to his family. He's still got pebbles in his stomach, but the vets have decided against surgery for now. It is a massive relief that we haven't had to do an invasive procedure, we haven't had to operate on him. It would have been a massive deal for him. But the blood test results are back, and they've identified what was making him sick. Wallace has an infection, which will need to be treated with antibiotics. Good boy, he's OK. It's important he rejoins the group as soon as possible. Hello. Is he back? Hey. They were really happy to see him, and he was very happy to be back with his family. But giving an otter medicine is never easy. Wallace! Getting antibiotics into him is a challenge. He's not stupid. He knows that I'm <laughs> trying to give him something probably that doesn't taste very nice. What I was trying to do is feed the nine, get them out of the way, and then feed him last. He's trying to target just Wallace. I didn't want one of the other otters getting the medicated food. There you are. I tried anything to get the food into him. Crawling on my hands and knees, trying to feed an otter. It's, it's normal, isn't it? It's fine. <laughs> What's this? No, not interested. Wallace, 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 here. That one. 
That one. Yay! That's the one with the meds in. It will take a week before Wallace is fully well again, but now he's back with the family, he's got duties to perform. He's back doing his job. And obviously Annie's happy because she can stuff her face. Now Wallace is back to look after the family. He's a super dad. But it seems nothing is going to put Wallace off his passion for pebbles. We saw him playing with a pebble and then swallowing it. So I'm not sure, but maybe that's just something he does. Maybe he's always had pebbles in his tummy. <laughs> 